official trailer in high definition from A24 John it's Civil War now don't know anything about the film but it's A24 I'm a big fan of A24 I don't think I've seen a bad movie from them yet not yet not yet it'll come so hopefully it's not this one <laughs> this is a full <laughs> trailer though so. at 2 minutes 23 one second longer than the previous one that was classed as a teaser so this is proper official trailer Did we react to territory you? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You're talking about the last one we reacted to. Yeah. But you're talking about Civil War, Stephen. No, no, did no. we react to a teaser? <laughs> we didn't. Stephen had seen something about this film. Only an image. It was um, three, two free soldiers up on top of the Statue of Liberty. Okay. The actual flame, the torch. Mm -hmm. Sandbags, sniper rifles. Obviously alluding to war. Sandbags at dawn. Sandbags yeah. at dawn. Sniper rifles. Perfect position you want to be if there's a Civil War going on, really. Up high. With a high caliber rifle, mm. anyone tries to come near you, you fucking turn their head into a pineapple, a smash pineapple. Unfortunately, I've seen that before, thanks to my previous co workers. But look, I digress, that's neither here nor there. I don't think we'll see that in this. To be fair, A24 never really went down the go route. No. I don't think, anyway. They went down the surreal, obviously, mm. with Bo is Afraid. Uh, well, your, your man I'm blanking in his name Joaquin Phoenix mm -hmm. how does one blank in Joaquin Phoenix's name I did they've done it all really I've not seen them do out and out horrific sort of gore violence no. I don't think we'll get this, this here I think this will be a war drama piece Yeah, maybe Sounds some good. satire yeah. about the dangers of political gamesmanship and uh, countries veering to the right and whatnot. you know <laughs> maybe to the left depending on your political persuasion. I'm intrigued by it though, Stephen, A24 are tremendous. Yeah. And um, that opening shot there, it's like New York. Mm. The cityscape of New York. Yeah. Um, it was very impressive. Shall we press play and get into it though? Liberty City. Liberty City, yes. <clears throat> 19 states have seceded. Well. The United States Army ramps up activity. The White House issued warnings to the Western forces as well as the Florida Alliance. The three-term president assures A the quiet place. will be dealt with swiftly. Let me know if you want to try anything on. Are you guys aware there's like a pretty huge civil war going on all across America? We just try to stay out with what we see on the news. Seems like it's for the best. Citizens of America, the so-called Western forces of Texas and California have suffered a very great defeat at the hands of the United States military. Mr. President, do you regret the use of airstrikes against American citizens? <laughs> We're moving to DC today. We need to go down there. They shoot journalists on sight in the Capitol. Every instinct in me says this is death. Bloody. Every time I survived a war song, I thought I was sending a warning home. Don't do this. But here we are. There's some, some kind of misunderstanding here. Yeah. What? Yeah. Right. Well, you're American. Okay. Okay. What kind of American are you? Yeah. As isn't that? You don't know. <laughs> he's at the very side. Well. Everything he's been This guy must request not to be in the building. I know. And everything's in. See a sort of older gentleman, is he in June as a security man? Something like that to the family. Not back. It's familiar. One nation under God. This one's very good, man. I like the look of this. With liberty and justice for all. He's <laughs> getting dragged out there, isn't he? <laughs> God bless America. Really this good. looks very, very good. Oh, very dark. Spring. Not long then. It's great. IMAX. Experience it in IMAX. Yeah, Stephen, that's a movie you would yeah. experience in IMAX. That's one thing about A24 films, John. Uh, oh, get the best screen possible because they throw everything but the kitchen sink into the production in terms of soundscape. You, you heard some kind of noises at the start there and I, I was wondering where it was coming from. It was coming from the trailer. I thought yeah. it was coming from outside. Um, where we are, yeah. Wouldn't be wrong. Yeah, but it's like a <laughs> fucking civil, civil war, war here. here at times, yeah. yeah. But yeah, uh, yeah. Jesse playing his top. <laughs> yeah, he deserves to be top billing, Stephen. This guy is unreal. 
the amount of films I've seen him in where he's just outstanding acting alongside some of the greatest actors of all time. Yeah. And he owns the screen. <clears throat> and he more than matches what their output is in the film. He's a stunning actor. He's not getting the pod that he deserves a lot of the time. So it's I think a strange he one. I don't know if to be nominated I don't for know if big awards. By choice, he, he keeps a low profile because I think he's just a, a really good wingman character actor, one of the actor, great yeah. sort yeah. of supporting actors. Yeah. He's not like a leading actor. He always comes in as a big personality and supplements. Is that the right word? I don't know. I think the so. The main yeah. men yeah. or main women in this case, Kirsten Dunst looks unrecognisable. Yeah, but well, it's not a huge cast. I mean, there is a lot of names there, but. You look at it, Chief Clark, SF's fucking SFC Brown shopkeeper. Looks like they're going down the route of maybe having a maybe a dozen at most actors who are going to have meaningful roles in this. And that tells me one thing, Stephen, even though it's Stephen a civil McKinley war. Stephen McKinley Header, that's the chat yeah, I was talking about. Yeah. I'm sure he was in it, June, I'm sure It tells was. me though, Stephen, that even though they are <clears> going down this route of civil war, that it's going to be a more human story and how it impacts on the, the little people on the ground. And that's always the best way to tell you, yeah, June. Yeah. Yeah. To tell these stories. I don't even remember him in June. Yeah. I watched it What's recently. That's the only reason I remembered him. He's a good actor, John. I don't remember him at all. Yeah. Oh, right, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, June's coming out shortly as well. Yeah, That's another wait, one. Yeah. I mean, we're going to do a trail for that shortly, aren't yeah. we? <laughs> but this looks amazing, John. It, it actually does. took me by surprise how good it looks. I thought perhaps maybe it would have been I mean, it's decent from A24, but that looks really good. And, and it's something I would it like to see in IMAX. 28 weeks later, 28 days later. Yep. Production company. Yeah, the writer. Yeah, writer, so that's yeah. a good... Oh, yeah, yeah. Pretty bonus, one of the great... Um, Alex Garland is a director. He's a writer-director, isn't he? Alex yeah. Garland, yeah. Stephen, very impressive-looking man. Yeah. Um, I've seen the image, and right from the image, I've seen A24, I've seen these guys bunkered down on the Statue of Liberty. I thought, wow. Yeah. They seem to have done it again. You look at the list of movies that this studio has put out in the last decade, and it's just ridiculous, man. No yeah. one is on their level. These big... Trillion dollar, multi billion dollar studios, Warner Brothers, Disney, Paramount, they're not on their level. John, that's why I laugh at Scorsese at times. You know, there is room for these films that he wants and they are happening. Not A20, for his budget, though. A, no, definitely not. But he wants A24, to spend 300 million fucking dollars. Yeah, A24 have been doing this, as you said, the best part of a decade, you know, and you need studios like this in this day and age. Certainly it's a with great place the, for the bigger young franchises. Up and coming directors <clears throat> to go and cut their yeah, teeth, yeah, and they have done it. So yeah, I mean, look, I'm on board for that. I just yep. love that studio. Long may they continue. Definitely, Let's talk yeah. of them sailing up. Please don't. No, you're the one sort of place we can go to for great independent content now. Yeah, you're the one that I want. You are the one I want. <laughs> <laughs> What's your thoughts though on Civil War? What's your thoughts on the official trailer? And listen, it's a story. It's actually quite pertinent to modern day because mm. it's a lot of countries. Yeah. Well, the sort of political landscape is interesting to say the least. Yeah. One sort of firecracker <coughs> moment and we could be in a civil war here, the United States. It's interesting Poland, to see the American everywhere. flag with only two stars. I yeah. think that's West versus East. Yeah. It's kind of suggesting that in the narrative, wasn't yeah, it? was California, wasn't it? Yeah. And I laughed. Texas, did they say? Yeah. How the fuck does Texas align with California? No chance. <laughs> Not a chance. No. If anybody's going to rebel against the American state, it's going to be Texas. Can't see California doing it. They are not politically the same, are they? Nah, I don't Texas think so. Texas is a red state and California is very Depends much a blue liberal state. Depends on the circumstances state. of the narrative, I suppose, in the story. I, I say that, but Schwarzenegger, uh, Schwarzenegger was governor of California for how long? And he was a conservative, so mm. or a Republican. Yeah. Same fucking thing. What's your thoughts on it, though? Share your thoughts down below about civil war. It is. Uh, not right wing, I think. I don't give a shit. What's your thoughts? Share your thoughts down below about the film, about the cast, about the concept, about our trailer, reaction, I was about to say our trailer, our reaction, I had to put reaction in at the end, <laughs> about our reaction to the trailer. Reaction. Reaction. <laughs> Anything you feel compelled to share, put it down below in the comment section. Like the video if you've enjoyed it, subscribe to the channel, hitting the bell icon to get notifications for future reactions like this, to this and to other things as well. What's left to be said though is thank you for watching us. We are both done.